Now, former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin has lost her bid to occupy the state's vacant seat in the U.S. House of Representatives to Democrat Mary Piltola. With this, Piltola is set to become the first Alaska native to serve in the House. She will also be the first woman to hold the seat. Well, just a tremendous sense of gratitude and appreciation for the people who have put trust in me to, to fill out the remainder of Congressman Young's term. Like you said, he's represented Alaska very well for the last 49 years, and it's just a tremendous honor to come in and, and finish out the remainder of his term. And I intend to be, um, in so many ways, um, you know, really trying to live up to the legacy that Don laid for Alaska and um, champion and work for all Alaskans. Palin lost to Piltola despite former President Donald Trump's endorsement for the election. Palin was hoping to make her political comeback in the special election. The polling was held to replace Republican Congressman Don Young. The congressman died in March after serving in the House for 49 years. Piltola will serve Don Young's remaining term till November, that is. Interestingly, this was Alaska's first election using ranked choice of voting. In this model, voters list candidates in order of preference. If no one wins the first place majority, the last place candidate is eliminated. Their votes are then redistributed. The process repeats until one candidate earns a majority. Piltola won 51.47% of the vote for Alaska's House seat, whereas Palin won 48.53% votes. Palin rose to prominence when she was chosen by the late U.S. Senator John McCain as the running mate in 2008 presidential election. Palin Piltola, as well as Republican Nick Gish the third will all be on the ballot in the general election in November. The November vote will determine who is elected to the two-year House term. The three candidates advanced in the primary election earlier this month to earn a spot on the ballot in the general election. Republicans had been widely projected to control the Congress during the terms. Latola's win is a major upset for the Democrats. Trump has sought to reaffirm his grip over the Republican Party through selective endorsements of candidates in the primary election. The winners of these primaries will stand in the midterms in November. The former president's picks have had mixed success in the Republican primaries. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.